got this new stuff at Walmart. It's to make like a frappe, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my mocha coffee and I'm going to mix it with a frappe. First I'm going to blend this and then I'm going to blend that into it. And we're going to see how that tastes when I'm all done. I'll be back. It's got these different options, see? And if I'm going to blend it in there, should I do drink or ice crush? Put ice crush. Did you just push it? No, pulse it? Well, maybe something's not connected. Okay, I'll be back. It helps if you turn it on. See, it's blinking now, so that means it's on. So let's see. I know I should probably be holding the top. Let's see. See? So you're supposed to drink this like this, but I just tasted it and it's way too sweet. So I'm going to take, well, I think it's done. No, I don't know if it's done all the way. I don't remember hearing a beep. But I'm going to take that coffee, it's a mocha coffee, and I'm going to pour it in here. And then I'm going to see if it tastes better. Because I think I don't like super sweet, and that's super sweet. And it's just a frappe. These are called um, signature frappes. They're kind of expensive. It was like $5.99 for one of these. But I wanted to try it. I'll probably never buy them again because of the expense. But I'm going to give it a shot and see how good it is. Okay, hang on, guys. Okay, see, I got it in there. Now I'm going to blend it. I'm going to just do it while off so you guys don't have to hear all that noise. Okay, let my husband be the taster. And I'm going to add a little bit more coffee to it. So I'm just, I went and took my coffee maker and put it on just the cup one. And then I did rich brew so we can make it a little bit more coffee tasting. And then we'll let you know. Look at guys. I did a blooper. Oh, oh, isn't that funny? That means I'm a human. But yeah, I bet it's going to taste better now. Let's use my spoon. Yeah, now it actually tastes more like coffee. So yeah, it's pretty good. Some people might want to add some sweetener or more sugar to it, but I think it's good. Okay, guys, look, I'm going to try some Hershey chocolate in there. I took some out, but we'll try some Hershey chocolate and see how that goes. Get that, I don't know, I have that spoon in there still. Okay, I use a spoon to dip it out. Oh, look, I got most of the chocolate on the spoon. Lord. Let's see. Yeah, I'm having fun making a mess. It's just like a little kid in the kitchen. Your mom doesn't want you in there. Boy, do you like that noise? Lord. Okay, I'm going to taste it again. Okay, I made one for my husband. I put it in the McDonald's cup so I can travel with it. So I got my travel mug. Put some of the Hershey's in there. That's pretty good. So what it was, there's my little fridge with all this stuff in it. It was that signature stuff. Oh, they have it in this one too. In the coffee one. I'll try it with the coffee one too. I wanted to try it with that as like a creamer. And I get to clean up my mess. But it was with the Hershey chocolate, that, and then I made regular mocha coffee. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a blessed day. Bye. And it's always good when you serve it in a cute cup. There you go. It's coffee. Yay. Nice festive cup of mocha iced coffee. Well, really, it's like a frozen, a frozen coffee. My husband's drinking a glass, but he likes it. So, God bless everybody. Have a good night. Bye.